households fall to like in dignity, in fair Manchester where we lay our scene, the ancient grudge between these two famous households, Montagues and Capulets, has broken from the unity that existed in the fair lives of Juliet and Romeo. A peace treaty has been agreed by both sides. Prince Aeschylus has decreed that no hand shall touch the head of either side until the case of who was to blame for the aforementioned lover's death has been fully investigated and someone blamed. Both sides have been warned. The hatred between these sworn enemies is clear. It's an invert religion of hatred that has no bounds. The states from east to west, north to south, are chomping at the bit to be unleashed on the other. The world is turning, changing. Clouds of revenge are forming. The winds of desire are breathless waiting for the guilty parties to be paraded in front of the decreased lovers' families. Lovers? What is love? Fair Julia and Romeo thought it'd be love that would hold them together. But that was the very thing that broke their hearts. This place is unrecognisable. It's so damn hot. It stinks. Stinks of corruption, conspiracy. And there's no way out. Do you hear me? No way out, not even a pair of star-crossed lovers like Benvolio and Montague and Rosaline. Capula. But the end will always be the same. This will always be so. Rosaline will kill Benvolio.
household and we sell the day over. When is the new prince? Then the day will be the best. He frights him, you see. With a month's fear. My service. He's shivering. A goose walked over my grave. Don't say that. These will kill you. And what else in this world will kill me faster? Are you hurt? What's a few bruises? Eh? Sit down. Afraid I'll point you if you get too close. Hey! That's good tobacco. I pay hard cash for that. It's been growing trees. Not for me, it doesn't. I bet you always want to come after. After? Touching a cat for it. I always have. How can you love me? You don't even know me. Each day, when I'm with the sun shop, because round the corner I might see Romeo coming. The days I didn't see were lost days. The thrill of it was what I lived for. Who did you love then, Romeo? Rosalind. Yeah. <coughs> Romeo took away from him the costume of the carpenter. <laughs>
Don't be nice to me. I don't want you to be nice. I'm sorry. What for? Well, I'm down there, Bianca. It, it won't happen again. I know it won't. I'll make sure it won't. I'm sorry. That's easy said. Not Bianca you care about. Sorry is just a word. Well, if you do, you're not doing it for Bianca. Where else am I doing it? Romeo. A lie I could have fought to regain his love. I could have fought, I would have won. As well, he's dead then. He was your cousin and your friend. As well, he's dead for you. If you fought for his love, if you won, if you then married, you would spent your whole long life in the room. If this one or that one would have taken his butterfly fancy, smelling his discarded clothes with a woman's perfume, wouldn't have that life for you. I love you, Rosaline. I'll not play around. Rosaline believes, gives our lives meaning. 